which vitamin deficiency causes hair loss? Can we stop the hair loss process or is there a natural, scientifically proven way to make our hair and nails grow faster? Today, you will understand the exact reason behind the hair loss and the low pace on the hair growth and I will bring the definitive solution for the hair loss problem. In the past years, we've seen controversial opinions and even risky recipes with zero medical recommendation to make our hair and nails grow faster. And worse, these recipes don't focus on the real problem causing the hair loss, which is what we are revealing in today's video. And for the ones watching us, leave a comment if you ever tried the homemade recipe and let us know how it went for you. So we will be answering the most asked questions about the hair loss topic. My name is Vanessa Pavão, I am a nutritionist and dietitian here at our Raw Science channel. We all know that the modern lifestyle with a lot of stress and workload leaves us with a very short time to focus on a balanced and healthy diet and even to cook homemade meals. So the easiest and fastest way is to eat fast food, which by time becomes a dangerous eating habit based on meals that lack a balance in the nutrients. It's well known that homemade meals are way healthier, so it's more and more rare to find families that include time in their routine to prepare homemade meals. So this consumption of unhealthy food grew to a point that today 92% of the US population are suffering from at least one type of vitamin or mineral deficiency. So the low consumption of vitamins and minerals became a public health issue, meaning that a big percentage of the population is affected by this problem. But Vanessa, what does it have to do with the hair loss problem, which is the topic of our video? The problem is that the tissues that form our hair, nail and skin are the first to be damaged by the poor consumption of certain vitamins and minerals. The amount of vitamin and minerals in our body directly interfere in our hair appearance. We can take keratin, for example, which forms 90% of our hair strand. You might be wondering, how can I have enough keratin in my body? Let's see together. Our body needs a recommended amount of micro and macronutrients every day for us to have a healthy diet. So macros are carbs, fats and protein and micro are vitamins and minerals. So our body needs a balanced amount of macro and micro that we need to take every day in order to be healthy. The RDAs, which are the recommended dietary allowance, give us specific ranges in the amount of macro and micronutrients that we have to take every day. So this amount satisfies 98% of the healthy individual's necessities for a healthy and balanced diet. So we must fulfill these quantities in order to be healthy. So this is a very accurate guideline used by all the healthy professionals in the world. So now that we know that there is a specific amount of vitamins and minerals that I have to take every day, we can answer to the question of how can I have enough keratin in my body? And the answer is the only way to have enough amount of keratin in our body is by eating a balanced diet containing zinc, biotin, vitamin A and selenium. I've made a small scheme for you to show that zinc, biotin, selenium and vitamin A are directly responsible for helping our body to produce keratin, as our body alone is not capable of producing enough keratin without these micronutrients. So keratin is a protein and some people might think that just by having the enough amount of protein in a diet, they will have enough keratin in their body, but without these nutrients, you will not be able to produce the keratin that your body needs. So studies have shown for many years the relation between a poor diet and the hair loss. This happens because the hair follicle cells are always growing. So they demand an enough amount of energy and micronutrients to keep their metabolism working. So to keep this growth process, we need adequate supplies of nutrients and energy. Not consuming a sufficient amount of these nutrients, either due to restrictive diets or incorrect diets, surgeries such as bariatric surgery, will damage your hair structure, causing changes on the hair color and increasing the chances of having alopecia, which is the disorder that causes hair loss. 
always important to look for a doctor if you are facing changes on your hair structure or if you feel it's fragile or your nails are fragile or if you feel that your hair is opaque. With a simple urine analysis, you will be able to know if you are having enough biotin in your diet or if the hair loss problem is being caused by something else. At the end of the video, I will guide you through a self-physical examination that will alert you whether you are consuming enough vitamins and minerals and if not, probably this will lead to hair loss and fragile nail problems. Another important factor is that the biotin not only stops the hair loss, but it can also make your hair actually grow faster. Many studies have shown a positive relation between the supplementation of biotin and a boost on the hair growth. So this proves the intimate relation between a healthy hair and a good nutrition. The importance of looking for a professional that will prescribe a healthy diet or biotin supplementation if necessary is the key to have healthy hair and healthy nails. Now before we go through our self-physical examination, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video to stay updated about how science impacts your daily life. So the self-physical examination is a normal procedure that we do during a patient's appointment. So write down your answers and tell us how many points you've made. I'm gonna say the question and then you will calculate how many points you have in total. So write down the comments how many points you've made at the end of the self-examination. Let's go. So let's go to our questionnaire. Uh, if you notice changes on your hair structure, such as split ends, uh, that's two points. So if yes, you'll have two points. When you brush your hair for the second or the third time in the day, do you see more than 100 strands on your brush? If yes, that's three points. Have you noticed opacity on your hair appearance? And that's two points if yes. Do your hair have white spots or white stripes? Or do you feel that it's bumpy? If yes, that's three points. And the last question is, are you eating one to three portions of fruits and vegetables? If yes, you have zero points. And if no, you have three points. So if you have six points, this means that probably you are part of the percentage of the population that's suffering from something called hidden hunger. You eat and you feel full, but the meals you had are not giving you what your body needs. So I will be answering to all the comments, leave below what was your total. I will be answering myself all the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't lose on the content we are preparing for you. If you have a specific topic you want us to bring, leave it on the comment. It can be something related to diet or any topic related to health and daily life. So I will see you all in the next video.